In the Bible, it says, from God's fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. A lot of people feel that they shouldn't pray very often because they're going to use up their quota. It sounds funny, but I hear it all the time, especially from overseas. It's as if God doesn't have much to give you. It's like a little bit at the bottom of an empty cup. And you better get it fast because then it will be drained and it won't be filled again for a long time. Not true. God has continuous fullness. God gives from the overflow, not from the last drop. In your life, you are absolutely transformed by the power of God's grace. To realize that you're connected to God's grace and that you have it. Now, if you are facing a challenge and you've done all that you can in overcoming a challenge and yet you still find obstacles in your way, if you've done your very best and you still haven't achieved what you had hoped you would. Well, I know this from my own life. When I have pushed and pushed and pushed and not gotten the way that I wanted, you can overcome every challenge and achieve more than you ever dreamed possible. When you accept the grace of God into your life. Your life is absolutely transformed by the power of God's grace. God loves you even more than you are willing to ask for. And perhaps even more than you feel you could ever earn by doing anything. Or perhaps even more than you feel that you deserve. The whole thing is God is already full in God's recognition of who you are. It couldn't be more. And God has already provided for you. There is no greater power in all the universe than the power of God. And through God's love, and God's grace, you can be empowered to overcome challenges in every area of life. Your heart is absolutely filled with a, a sense of great gratitude because you know, you absolutely know, that God's will for you is good and only good. And how different this is from the way many people falsely believe. They believe that they have a God that's out to get them. Many people even believe in a God that is like a terrorist, like a Bin Laden or something that, that uh, is going to get them. And, and if they're not doing something the way they should or they did something in the past, God's going to get them. Well, this isn't my God. I pray it's not your God. It was not the God of Jesus. You know that God's will for you is good and only good. And you claim in prayer that good right now.